We've dug several trenches this summer, putting in water lines, drainage lines. It's time to seed those. So today we're gonna to clean all this up and we're gonna seed, hopefully without any major malfunctions. Let's get started. When I first started using a loader, I found this particular task pretty difficult to do, to skim along top of existing sod and pick up the looser soil. I've gotten better at it over the years, but I'm showing this today to show you how, if you're a beginner, you can use these edge tamers to make this job trivial. I thought the edge tamers would be perfect for this because it's okay if I leave just a little bit of a hump there. I mean, all this dirt came out of that trench and I have driven over it and packed and done everything I can. I can't get it all to go back in. So I'll leave just a little bit of a hump, whatever the half inch that, that the edge tamers hold the center of that bucket. and hopefully that'll end up about level when we're all done. Dave always gets the hard part of the job. This is not that bad. This is actually working pretty well. What do you think? I'm pretty pleased with it. It's uh, leaving it nice and level. We're not digging up any of the grass we've already got growing. And we should be able to come through with Vinny and the cedar and it's an aerator seeder, and so it'll, it'll fluff up that dirt a little bit while we seed. Should look pretty good. Doesn't look like I'm all the way down. It's not. It's give it a little more. You've been there before. Yeah, I have. I don't know if I can make this work now. I've got so much extra load in the front. You say we don't have the hydraulics turned up on this one. Yeah, yeah I know it. That's not fair. It's not that big. I'd say you're about full. Yeah. Back up and I'll scoop the rest of that into your bucket. All right. Good enough. Now for the real test, I'm switching tractors to a bucket that does not have edge tamers. Let's see how we get along here. One might say that switching tractors is not fair, but hey, I'm the best at handling a 1025R bucket as any. I just have much better visibility than on the larger machines.
You're digging. So see, it's harder to do without the edge tamers. And they stopped me before I was able to see it myself. You're digging. I'll get over that arrow there. You're back up, you're way off. All right, you're, you're level. When the soil you want to pick up is really soft and the turf beside it is harder, this task is a bit easier. But we've recently had quite a lot of rain, so the turf is not holding up my bucket very good. And as I said, I've packed that middle as much as I could. Full. You're full. That was a pretty good one there. This time I'm sliding upward, not getting all of that loose dirt. With practice, you can do an okay job at this, but there's no question in my mind that the edge tamers make it a lot easier. Please get the originals, edgetamer.com, use code TTWT for 5% off. You're getting too high, right? Yeah, it's starting to, but I don't really know why. I wasn't quite low enough that time, was I? No. Right, but I, I feel like if you'd gone lower, you'd have been digging, so I don't know. That's just, that's what makes it difficult. I'm gonna cheat a little bit on this end that I did without the edge tamers. I gotta clean it up just a little bit. But behind the vent track there where I used the edge tamers, we did not touch it with the power rig. I really don't wanna do much here. bit of leveling and I'll be done. We had a low spot here that held water. Thought maybe if I put a little topsoil in it, we'd get that fixed. Meanwhile, Dave is down at the other end filling in that trench. The first trench is where we put our hydrant and electric into the pond. The second here is where we did the spillway. You know, Dave, when I was driving it, it didn't run out of fuel. Well, Tim, that's because you drove it five minutes before I did. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh <-wee>. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start slinging some mud. Your rope may be a little overdone. Yankum.com. I hope you can steer that thing, Dave. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, it's awful quiet. I do believe this is actually a power reduction for Johnny X. Tim can correct me here if I'm wrong, but I believe the Ventrax 32 horse. Johnny's estimated 38. Use code TTWT for a 5% discount. Or is it 10? I think it may be a 10% discount. You'll have to check and see. Now what's he gonna, is he gonna pull you? Here comes Dave, Dave's just gonna pull it. I knew that Yankum would hold up the venting, but as soon as you hooked onto it, I wasn't really sure. <laughs> we 
we had another area out on this side that was holding water. That's right, my spring landscaping job wasn't perfect. I didn't have it all sloped just right, but hey, it wasn't too far off. We've had this pile of topsoil here in the backyard for, I hate to admit it, but probably three to four years, maybe even five. It was around an old tree stump, which is pretty close to the rear end of that 28-foot flatbed trailer now. We never saw the tree. It had already been cut down before we ever visited the property, but we were left with a little stump. Once we removed the stump, I got rid of that hump that was around it so that we could make the driveway just a little bit bigger there. And yeah, I was going to move the pile of dirt in a couple of weeks. Here it is, four or five years later. I was going to haul one more bucket of dirt and then get on Vinny. But before I was able to get back, Christy snagged him and was leveling out that pile with the power rig. We didn't use a laser or any other fancy technique for this. We just leveled it out and, well, we'll see. We'll know by next spring if it's still holding water. I had a phone call that took a while, so I left the seating with Dave and Christy. I don't think Dave had ever operated the Aerovator seater before, but looks to me like he's doing a great job. Perhaps Christy gave him some behind the scenes education there. I have to get really close here to be able to see the seed coming out, but once close enough you can see it flying kind of everywhere. Dave, I missed the aeration and seeding. How'd that go? Uh, I think it went pretty good. Uh, you'll have to watch the video and tell me if I did it right or did it wrong. I got seed on the ground. I'll tell you when it grows or doesn't grow. Oh, well. Speaking of which, we are, well, the weather's changing. It, as we speak. As we speak, we started this project in the sun. It's cooler now. We should be getting rain late tonight. We've got two big piles of dirt over here off camera. And I insisted that they be off camera for this shot because I'd love to be rid of them. <laughs> but that's the only, the only uh, total distraction we have left here, right? The rest of it is, is beginning to look like what a front yard ought to look like. Thanks, Dave. I was taking notice while I was doing the seeding, so yeah. the ring around the pond, that was all complete dirt at the beginning of the summer. Yeah. And the change happened too slowly for me to notice it as it was doing it, but I now notice that's all nice grass, like yeah. real nice grass. Yeah. So I think you're hitting on a good point about the change being too slow. I think a, a lot of stuff on our channel appears to happen too slow, right? I mean, it, it goes it goes really slow, but we're showing people as we get a chance right. to do it, right. just like anybody else in the real world. Yep. It's not TV where we can put it all together and say one 22 minute episode to show the whole progress over the last however many years. Yeah, I was gonna say, this has been years for you guys. Yeah, it so. has. So it's been a good while now for you. You've been like nine months with us. So. Yeah, getting closer to a year, yeah. So. In November we started or summer like I don't remember. But it seems like forever, Dave. <laughs> but it was just yesterday. I don't know. Something like yeah, that. Something like that. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with Tim. Tim. The path of the righteous is level. You, the upright one, make the way of the righteous smooth. You're gonna to have to teach Izzy how to say that. Yeah. Needs a collar. Izzy rode on the 1025R hood just like that yesterday. I believe it. Well, when we were getting fuel, me hopped right up on there. He's not real bright.